<laughs> My name is Keith. I'm kicking. I was born in Illinois, up in Rockford, Illinois, which is about 90 miles from Chicago. I grew up in the central part of the state in the country or rural area. Into a, um, I grew up in an evangelical Christian household, so church and religion was pretty, pretty prominent within my within my family. Church every Sunday, etc. Um, had a vast experience doing almost 24 years in the military. Traveled the world, seen a lot of different cultures, experienced a lot of different things. 18 years almost. December this December will be 18 years since I embraced Islam. From the past 18 years. I have been on a beautiful ride as I look at it. I mean, my, my outlook, my heart, my eyes, my mind have all been opened up. I went from looking at from a Christian background, a person that's read the Bible three times, you know, at least three to four times, sorry, three to four times, knew the Bible well. I knew what the churches were instilling in me, but something just didn't feel right. While on a, while on a deployment to uh, Turkey, in the military from my obligation, I took and started looking into, um, started meeting people. That's where first my first encounter with Muslims was in Insulik, Turkey. I started talking to them. They started talking to me. I started asking questions. I started realizing that Islam and Christianity are v extremely similar. It's like the message is the same. It's just been repassed from stage to stage. The message never changed. I started looking at it as um, all the all the things that I grew up to know in in Christianity, Moses, Adam, Jesus, Islam covered the same. What I've learned since my conversion to Islam is that it's a it's a pure religion. There's no middleman. In Christianity, everybody always prays. When they pray, majority of Christians pray to Jesus. Why? Why are you going to pray to a person in the middle when you can have you got direct contact with God? He's the one that's going to be the overall decider of what goes on, what what you get, what you don't get, what happens to you. Why go through a middleman? I took a year from the time my first involvement with Islam, and I started reading. You never want to jump into it too too openly. You want to make sure you're, you're fully aware of what Islam is about. So that's why I did. I took and read books. I started learning the true Islam, the beauty of it, the simplicity of it, and it just opened my heart. And then it's December 1998 in Florida, I took and submitted and converted to Islam. Islam, Islam has impacted my life in a very positive way. I feel good about everything that I do. I don't feel that weight on my chest anymore. I don't feel that I have to take and worry about pleasing somebody. I feel that I can, it's, it's, just like, as I mentioned, just mentioned, a chat weight off my chest. I can breathe, and then I see everything in a different light. My concerns with the time I started that, that year before, I, when I first got introduced, you know, me started meeting Muslims, started learning a little bit of Islam until I converted. I had some concerns that, do I really want to do this? I mean, I grew up my whole life evangelical Christian. I mean, do I want to take and shun my family and you know, all that they, they try to instill in me and teach me? By jumping over to this, and then before I started realizing, you know, I mentioned, just mentioned before I started realizing and learning, why do I need to take and convert if the people I'm seeing at the current time doing the same things I'm doing? But as I mentioned, it was until I took and started realizing that they weren't holding holding true to their faith, and not to take and base all of Islam on the acts of a few. My thing was I was gonna, I thought it was gonna be hard. You know, I'd have to go through a whole big course. You know, a couple months of, of going and you know, sitting down and, and listening, you know, taking classes and stuff like that. When I found out how easy it was, I was like, okay. That's what made me kind of, okay, I'm ready. And I realized it's converting to Islam is one of the easiest things a person can ever do. You know, I could ever do, I ever did. I converted in December of 1998 in Fort Walton Beach, Florida. I was stationed there at Herbert Field. As I mentioned, I was in the military, so I bounced around a lot. Like I mentioned the process took five minutes. And it was like, as soon as I uttered those words, it's just like, almost like a, a total release of pressure. Everything was gone. And then everything was just opened up. It, my, 
it's, I can't explain it. I mean, I wish I could explain it better, but I just can't. The feeling you feel, it was, it was wonderful. It was just like somebody, you know, you just come in and lay back in a hot bath. You're tired from work, muscles are all sore, you lay down in a, in a nice, hot, soothing bath. That feeling you get when that water just loosens you up, it was 10 times better than that. I thought it would be so hard and so difficult was so simple. The utterance of a few words, and that's all. And that's all it took to take and bring me into the, and to give me, pretty much to re, rebirth me into a new life. It was amazing. The greatest thing I've ever done was got on my knees and accepted Islam. And the blessings have just kept coming ever since.